Hey guys, you've probably noticed that I've changed spots. That's just because this spot just seems a lot more comfortable. What I really want to talk about is something that I got a few weeks ago. Uh, it's a game, it's not just any game, it's a board game like Snakes and Ladders or Monopoly. Don't get me wrong, Snakes and Ladders is one of the best games that I've ever played. I love climbing those ladders and sliding down those snakes. This game is Cranium, and if you probably haven't heard of Cranium, I think you need to get out more. Okay, so this is Cranium. As you can see, this is a pretty sweet box. It's shiny, it's metallic, it's attractive. I would definitely date this box if dating boxes was socially acceptable. As you can see on this box, or you, if you can't see, this game is for adults or adult-like people. Therefore, I'm pretty sure a person passing by would th immediately think of sexual innuendos or porn or both. That's probably what my friends were thinking when they got me this game. I'm pretty sure I'm not that kind of person. Uh, so I'll open the box and I'll show you some things inside. Okay, so the first thing that comes out of this box is um, the Cranium instruction sheet. As you can see, it's shiny like the box. This is the Cranium board. I'll open it for you to see. It's different than most actual board games. Um, it's a cross. That just makes it 10 times cooler and it has a bunch of pictures and colors. Uh, it's a very colorful game. And to get to the end, you have to do a bunch of tasks and stuff. Um, these tasks include Pictionary, Charades, basically any part of your mind that would be considered intelligence. I'm not saying that this game can't be played by people that aren't intelligent, but I'd say that the more intelligent you are, the better you are. I've only played this game once with my friends just a few weeks ago, and I've got to say that this is one of the most fun games that one will ever play in his or her life. Trust me on that. Even though I really, really like the game, I can't say that I'm the best. Okay, so this game has some pretty cool aspects to it. There's even a Pictionary aspect to it. Um, for example, this is a picture that my friends drew for one of the Pictionary events. That is a double-breasted suit. Uh, these are just a few of the characters that you can play with. Uh, this one's your nerd, and this one's your hottie, or your hippie, or whatever this thing is. There's also a sculpting aspect to this game. Uh, this stuff actually smells pretty bad. It kind of smells like a... It kind of smells like apples and uh, your mom. <laughs> It's a dumbbell! This box also comes with uh, some pretty cool stuff too. Like these hats that you can put on uh, these things. Hi! I'm a transsexual! It also comes with uh, this cool looking dice. It actually works, even though it kind of looks like it doesn't. And it comes with this timer, because all events are timed in this game. And it comes with some pretty cool pencils. Look what it says. You draw with this end, and you erase with this end. Uh, this pencil says, my, what a firm grip you have. This pencil says, I just need you to hold me. So, I think, um... I'm gonna put this stuff away now, but if you know me, you can, you know, ask me if you want to play. It's a really fun game, and if you don't really know me, I recommend you to buy this. This is a great game. Um, you'll have lots of fun with it, I guarantee you. Oh, and just a side note, I'm actually really excited for the new Hannah Montana movie and Seventeen again, starting Zac Efron. I'm not a freak. But my sister wants to watch it, and when she's really hyped for something, I guess it kind of transfers over to me. And, you know, it actually looks okay, considering 
most of the High School Musical 3 movies sucked. So I'm glad you guys are watching. Uh, I'll see you next time, next time I vlog.